you've never ridden a wheel with a suspension, it really is very different. Your legs just don't need to do all the shocking all the time. It really does eat up a lot of those bumps. It, I can smash into things. I stay in control. Oh, the housing is not what it should be. This is a prototype. It's really slippery dirt. I'm gonna try this again. Prototype, so I'm not going to go into too much detail about how the performance is because there's a lot of things that are still being tweaked But the suspension is the biggest question. So I wanted to address that with you guys the suspension I'm not fully engaging. I'm still kind of just playing with it and trying to get a feel of it right now There's like a little knob that you toggle back and forth and that locks the shock or not and the other one kind of Changes the the hardness of the shock. I know a lot of people have been like asking like can you swap out that shock with something else it's a standard sock size, so you can get your Fox shock if you want or whatever else without any special tools. It's not perfect, but it's nice. It's really nice. I think it's really important to remember that this is still a prototype and the production units, the ones that are gonna come out of the mold are gonna be more structurally sound and they're not gonna be cracked. I'm getting this question a lot. Which one's better, the V11 or the S18? One of the things that makes the S18 special is that the weight of the battery, the frame, the pedals are all separated from the wheel. So the wheel is moving independently from the other weight. The link suspension that they're using is going to be made of CNC aluminum that's gone through some super hard anodization process. So it's going to be robust. I, I mean, I've crashed this thing already. I haven't landed on it and it seems to be pretty well protected within the frame. So I'm not really that concerned about breaking it. Uh, well, maybe I should, but I haven't broken it yet. So yes. So inside, I don't know if you can tell. There's an internal fender that protects the suspension from the tire. And for the tire, it's a nice 18 by 3 incher, which has become the most popular wheel size for good reason. It's big enough to eat up bumps and be stable at speed, but also small enough to be responsive. It's powered by a 2200 watt motor and an 84 volt 1100 watt hour battery. It specs a range of about 60 miles in ideal conditions, but realistically with all these wheels, you can expect about half of that if you're riding at the top speed of 30 miles an hour. The pedals are slightly longer and skinnier than the 16X, but they're fairly comfortable. On the back, there's a mudguard and a brake light. You can use the power button to toggle the headlight. There's a USB port and the charging port just above that. You may not notice there's a hidden main handle that doubles as a trolley handle. And just below that, there's the 4-inch clearance used for the suspension movement. 
And as I was saying before, I wasn't really using the suspension to its full movement as noted by the blue rubber band. I was maybe using 60%, but you want to make sure that you always have some clearance so you don't bottom out. I think the, the biggest thing about the suspension, if you're distracted, which happens to all of us at some point, your legs are locked, which they never should be, you could easily get launched. But the suspension, I think, it could easily be the difference between staying on and getting thrown off. And this is probably the biggest safety issue, I think, that's been addressed with the suspension. So once King Song finalizes the production unit, they're gonna be sending me one, and then I'm gonna be giving you guys a proper review. So if you guys wanna stay tuned on that side, hit that subscribe button down below.